Hey guys, welcome back to Veteran. Mr. Better here coming at you with another gear review. Today's gear review is on a Boltac 3-day assault pack. This is a really awesome pack. Let me give you guys a look at it. Alright guys, so a little bit about the pack. As you can see, it's full of molly straps, molly straps everywhere, which is really awesome. You have these what they call compression straps on the bottom and on the sides. I'll get into that a little more. You have your hook and loop Velcro for your morale patches, and this actually ships with its American flag patch. I love it, USA baby, love it. You have the bungees on the zippers, pretty heavy duty zippers. So that's a look at the front. Now I'm gonna show you guys the right side. You can see this pack really expands out wide, so you could really pack this bad boy up. As I mentioned a few seconds ago, these are called compression straps. They're fully adjustable, which is great. So. Uh, you could use this pack as a three-day pack, or you could take and use it as an EDC pack just by uh, cinching up these compression straps. Moving right along, let's show the rear of the pack. Really awesome, you have padded straps here. You also have a waist and you have a chest strap, which is really great. And the really cool thing about this chest strap is one side is made out of solid material. The other side is actually made out of elastic. So when you twist and turn, you have a lot of give and a lot of adjustment with the elastic. Really awesome, really heavy duty plastic clamps here. I love it. You also have uh, these hookups here. I like to run a carabiner on these. You could put keys on here. Have my handy screwdriver set here and my little pry bar. I love it. Another thing about the rear, this is padded. I did mention the padding on the straps here. The back is also padded for airflow, which is really awesome. And back here, you have a pocket for multi-size bladders, so you could throw your hydration packs in the back here. All right, so that's a look at the rear. Let's move on to the other side, which is just a carbon copy of the right side that I showed you. You have your compression straps. You have a multitude of molly straps here you could get a molly water bottle holder attach it to here i love it you guys if you looked at some of my other videos I have some molly packs you could throw them on the front of here that's really awesome so that's the exterior let's get into the interior of the pack this pack is great for a shtf a bug out a carry-on bag so let's get into it got some things in here i'm just going to take it out as i show you guys a couple flashlights here always got to have meat brother need his protein so uh there's a look at the top pocket here really awesome nice capacity storage here you could use this as a toiletry pocket first aid pocket you know whatever you like you got another pocket here gotta have my coffee so this is how i travel this is how i roll but in this pocket you actually have interior pockets which is really awesome you could use this as a admin pocket or you know whatever floats your boat but you could throw your passport in here you have uh, slots for pens and pencils and whatever else you need so to look at the two front pockets there's two main compartments i'd call this the secondary and the pocket behind it i call it the primary so let's look at the secondary pocket again you have more storage here or pockets you know you could throw whatever you like any type of credentials you have a passport small notebook just whatever you like you know how well you guys could see that but uh great capacity there and let's get into the main or the primary pocket this is the primary pocket in this primary pocket i'm carrying a first aid kit which is really awesome Got my knee pads, or my elbow pads, should I say. Got some food, you gotta keep some food on the go. And just some clothing. From a little trip I just came from. This is, this pocket, or this pack is really great. Look at that capacity. That is amazing. You just have so much cargo space in here. And what they're calling it, they're calling this a 40 liter pack. They're saying you could uh, carry as much as 40 liters in here. So it's really amazing. You have a, a net pocket right here up against the flap of the primary pocket. You also have a zipper pocket here, which is really great. 
You could throw a laptop computer in here, whatever you need. It's going to be protected from flopping around because you have a elastic strap here in the bottom of the bag. So this pack was really well thought out. It's really well built. Again, it's made out of heavy duty polyester. Everything is double stitched on here. It's really great. Let's cover a few more details and I'm going to get this video wrapped up for you guys. All right, guys, as I mentioned, this is a three day pack or a 72 hour pack. So what I want to do is bring in a rush 24 pack, which is obviously for 24 hours. But I uh, just want to give you guys a quick side by side of a three day and a 24 hour pack. So this is a 511 rush 24 pack. You can see the size difference. Uh, there's an obvious height difference. And let me spin it to the side. And as you can see, there is a difference in width and this bag is compressed at the moment because it is nowhere near filled to the capacity that it can be filled to. So I uh, just want to give you guys a quick side by side comparison. So overall guys, I'm going to say this is a great budget friendly pack. It's $39.99, just call it 40 bucks. It come in five different color options. It come in black, it come in brown. The brown is like a coyote brown. It comes in ACU camo, uh, it comes in woodland color, and it also comes in black camo. So you have five different color options, really cool color options. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. All right, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. There's a 10% off code. It's Veterland. That information will also be in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Mr. Vetter, also like to remind you guys, hey, don't forget to thank your local first responders. Don't forget to thank your local LEO. And don't forget to thank your local military personnel. Those are the true American heroes. Mr. Vetter, out.